That is really cool. Look at this. Dude! That actually, dude. Act, honestly, it's pretty cool. Hey everybody, what's going on? Jerome here in this goofy science outfit. And today we're doing a science experiment. We're gonna make homemade lava lamps using just random household items, including Alka-Seltzer, red coloring dye, water bottles, club soda, but you don't really need that, you just need the bottle size. Yeah, one uh, liter. And one liter. vegetable oil. And all you're gonna need is something to be able to cut open a top like this. And that's literally it. So, all this is completely unnecessary. And, and I do mean that. It actually isn't dangerous at all, so I'm just gonna take this. So it's really, <laughs> it's it's pretty safe. No, but I, we decided just to be a little goofy with it all. Uh, something really cool that I do want to show you guys. So we were looking for something sharp to cut the bottle in half with, and we went to Tootie's office, and he's like, "Oh, here, take this." And he hands us what looks like a credit card, right? I've never seen this before. I'm I'm way too amused by this. But if you fold it up, everything like that, and you pop it out, it's a credit card that converts into a pocket knife or a knife or I don't know some kind of. Knife. Yeah, look at that. It's like uh, the box cutters. Yeah, basically. but isn't that cool though? That's pretty rad. I don't know, I just feel like I'm way too impressed by the fact that it's like, I don't know. I don't know even know why he has this. It's really kind of scary. Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> but, kill he's gonna But kill it works. Him. So we use that and we cut a hole in there. I'm just gonna close this up so no one accidentally hurts themselves. Yeah, so what you wanna do is if you get one liter of anything, one it doesn't matter what it is, just a one liter bottle, empty it out. Drum, can you do this that favor? Yeah, I just wanted to shake up the club soda so it will explode. It's not going to explode. What do you mean it's not? Club soda? Wait, there's a sink over there. Oh yeah, we have a sink over there. Well, club soda is bubbly, right? I mean, but it's not going to explode. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Just empty it out, you just need one liter. One liter of gin? No, one liter of empty bottles. Oh, okay. So besides all that, the main measurement you gotta remember is when you're taking the one liter bottle, you need to put exactly three-fourths cups of water into that bottle. That's the exact amount. There you go. So now, go ahead and let's pour the three-fourths, you, you, you can eyeball that, Jerome. I don't know what three-fourths cup is. So I'm just it's gonna... not too much, it's like a little bit. There you go, that's good. Yeah, that's probably enough. All right, there you go, so you got your water in there. Now, Jerome, what you wanna do is use the funnel to slowly pour vegetable oil into oh. the bottle until it's almost full. You Look at this fancy funnel. Dude, it's amazing. All right, so you wanna pour it into in there until it's almost full. Almost, geez, that's a ton of oil. That is a lot of oil. It's for science, Jerome. It's for science. Science. And chicken. I'm curious. I understand how all this works up until the Alka-Seltzer. That's the only part that I'm like curious about why yeah, it has it's gonna to. Be, it's gonna be awesome. I've never done this myself so, either, everybody, so. Yeah, pour it slowly until it's almost full, so you don't want to rush it. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Look at all that oil around there. Well, it's science. gonna be nice and greasy. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna be pretty. I think I should probably clean that up before Mitch kills me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Do we have any paper towels in this office? I hope it isn't sticky though afterward. Let's see here. They're just gross. Nah, it's not that bad. Lysol wipes, you know, they get the job done. Exactly. Sponsored by Lysol wipes. <laughs> I wish, dude. I always like like the idea of like working with household brands. Those are my favorite ones because like ones that like I actually use, I can feel good about promoting. You know what yeah. I mean? So like uh, like Gillette. When Gillette hit me up, I was like, oh yeah, like everyone loves Gillette. Like Gillette's awesome. Yeah, you can promote a, a, a like a, a product that you're like, hey, I actually use this and it's really good. Exactly. That, those ones I love. Like same with Casper mattresses. I've worked with them like two, three occasions now. Yeah. I actually use their mattress. So I was like, yeah, like I'd love to work with you guys. So it's like it's cool. Like things like that. I do like those. Yeah, so Lysol wipes. <laughs> so Lysol wipes hit us up. There. Good product. It's a good product. Look at this. Look at this table. It used to be greasy and now it's shiny and smells nice. Exactly. It smells real nice. Alright, Jerome. So this is the hardest part of the uh, science experiment. Can you remove the label off of that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, it's so greasy. Exactly. Like I said, it's the hardest part. Oh, it's gonna have that wrapping paper on the side. Ah, that's all right. Look at this. This is nice and clean. Yeah, yeah, this side is fine. Look at this science. There we go. You might as well call Jerome the science guy now. D Jerome Nye the science guy? Jerome Nye the science guy. Dude. All right, so you can see how right there the water is Sorry. separated from the oil. If you see back down here. Yeah, you can see the line. The line right there. That's where the oil meets up and it's perfect. All right, Jerome, you ready for the next step? Oh, I'm ready. You like science? Yeah. Okay. So now what you want to do is add 10 drops of food coloring to the bottle. I'm actually curious what's going to happen. So do you think the food coloring will float on top? Well, or? I actually already know the answer, but I'll let you figure that out on your own. Yeah. I think I think food coloring is so, going to sink and mix with the so water. So 10 drops. Let's see. Oh, I think you might. That's one of those where you need to open up. 
12. Yeah. <laughs> you open up this little doohickey here. I hope you get it on your your uh, your lab coat and my white lab coat. Your over time, it just builds up like random colorings. Dude, I'd actually that'd be pretty funny. It actually. becomes a tie dye in like a year. Everyone's <laughs> like, just how look how far he's fallen. <laughs> it's all gross and dirty. Yeah. All right, Jerome. So ten drops. But yeah, we do want to do more science stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. It's fun. Okay. Like at home experiments. One, mm -hmm. two. Three. Whoa, dude, look at the science. Look at that. Wow. That is really cool. And they go to the bottom. They go right to the bottom. Dude, they go to the bottom and look, they just go right into the, that how weird is that? It's very strange. Science. That's actually really cool. I it actually, is really cool. Yo, Ron, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Like literally you have like 10 seconds before this thing stops. Look how cool this is. The red coloring, it, it, it beat it up on top of the oil right there, and then it drops down like every once in a while. You see it? Isn't that cool? What are those pellets? Those no, no, that's red coloring. coloring. That's, oh. a, that's a liquid. Yeah, and then that they drop down. That is a liquid. Very like, cool. Yeah, they bubbled up like that. So now, do we wait or do we shake it up? Well, it's right. so cool. So Jerome, now what you want to do is break a seltzer tablet in half and drop half of it into the bottle and watch it sink to the bottom, and the blah blah, blah and the greatness begins. So just one of them, because this comes yeah. with two in a pack. Just break one of them in half. So there you go. That's the close enough. Yeah. That's pretty good. So you drop it in there, and then ba bam, we watch the the um, the, the oh the, oh no oh she's mad the homemade. Lava lamp begins. Actually, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Dun dun dun. And there you go. Look at that. It's your homemade lava lamp. That is really cool. Look at this, dude. That actually, dude. That actually, honestly, it's pretty cool. <laughs> oh my god. That's actually not what I was expecting I'm at all. I'm the first one to call these videos stupid, and this is pretty cool. <laughs> dude, these animal science experiments are really cool, actually. Look. So there you go. Wow. If you ever want to make a to wear your safety goggles, safety goggles. <laughs> I, I was wearing them with the gloves, and I'm like, these are completely unnecessary. <laughs> what is it? Just it's just olive oil, oil, vegetable, oil, vegetable oil, oil, Alka Setzler, water, food and food coloring. Uh, yeah, not very unsafe, is it? No. But there you go. <laughs> Look at that. How long does the reaction go for? Can I cap it? Uh, yeah, you can cap it. Oh wait, uh, oh maybe not. Because the gases, gas. yeah. Because the Alka Seltzer. Actually, I don't actually. know. And you might, um, to keep the effect going, just add another tablet piece. There oh, you go. More. So you can keep adding. What if you add like two? Oh. Add the rest. Oh yeah. no. All right, let's, let's move this like towards the middle of the, the table just in case <laughs> it overflows. All right, so this is the do not try this at home. This is the do not try at home part. But I'm just <laughs> curious. As a professional scientist, I need to. How many did you put a full one in there? Yeah, uh, basically, yeah. And now it's all capped. Oh no, it definitely, it's expanding. It's oh, gonna blow. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's expanding way too much. I do not want yeah, that exploding. Don't do that, it, yeah, yeah oh, okay. Agreed. You could feel it. That that oh, it is. Yeah, see yeah, it, dude. It's, it's like rising. Dude, you can see it. Whoa. Wow. And you can just add more Alka Seltzer whenever, right? Pretty so much? basically, once the effect is dying down, that's when you can add in another tablet and then it'll redo the effect. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. There I actually, like, I'm very happy we did this. There you go, Jerome. And to anybody watching, it's super easy to do. And you don't necessarily, I'm assuming, have to use no, red. No, you can use any color you want. Yeah. Maybe you can probably even mix colors. Oh, yeah, for sure. You do five drops of blue, five drops of red. There you go. Now you got a real lot of lamp. That's, that's how it goes. I wonder how long it'll last for. I think it'll. I think the bubbles will eventually fall. You can see like they're slowly but surely gonna yeah. rest at the bottom right before the water. Probably like 15 minutes, maybe if I had to guess. Yeah. It's real science numbers there. It's real science numbers. <laughs> I have a guesstimate for you. <laughs> I have no science background. I don't know what I'm talking. about. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Should we put in like two tablets and put the bottle outside? And, and cap it? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I kind of want to see Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. All right. Here we go, guys. <laughs> so this is the do not try inside <laughs> part of the experiment. It's all good. They just didn't This is going to be hilarious. All right. It's so loud. They're all doing construction out here. So sorry if you can't hear too much. That's all right.
All right, well, anyway, guys, that was a little bit of an at-home science experiment. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. But if you guys have ideas for other science experiments or if you want to see another, we're going to go for 5,000 likes today. If we get 5,000 likes, tomorrow we're dropping another science experiment. So let us know, everybody. Apart from that, take care and peace out.